So near the center of the battlefield, there was this farmland. Now the original name was called Sunken Road. Now at this point, there are 8,100 soldiers from both sides, and these guys go at it. Now, if you look to the picture to your right, that's Sunken Road. And yeah, those are bodies you see there. The thing is, this fighting was so, I don't want to use the word uh, intimate, but it was very personal because they were close up. Okay, um, you have to remember the guns at this time were muskets. You shot it, you loaded it, you put the powder packet, um, you know, you, you put the little lock, you shot it. Basically, it took 20 seconds for one shot. And when you're, you know, it looks like about there, about 20 feet from somebody, you don't have time to load up again. Um, so you, basically the other person is charging at you with their gun and bayonet. So you had to fight back. And a lot of these guys, they fought, they stabbed, they shot one another. They did, I mean, it was up close and personal. Um, with so many deaths happening at this place, they changed the name from Sunken Road to Bloody Lane. Okay. Now, again, look at the picture and you can see the body stretch. And this is not just one side, it's both sides. So as nighttime fell, thousands of bodies were scattered all along the battlefield. Now, the thing is, in this particular battle, both sides were able to claim their dead and wounded. But this wasn't always the case. Sometimes one side would retreat and then they would basically run, make a run for it. Um, and or sometimes the winning side just basically took over and wouldn't let the other side claim they're dead or wounded. Um, but in this case, they agreed. Um, and in total, there was 23,000 or so wounded and 3,650 dead from both sides. Now the thing about um, Antietam Creek that makes it unique is that this was uh, General Lee's first attempt to invade the North. Now the thing is the next day uh, McKellen sees basically Lee retreating and instead of charging at him um, trying to, in a sense, trying to maybe capture him, uh, he lets Lee retreat completely. Now, McKellen basically believes that he accomplished his mission by pushing Lee's troops from Maryland and preventing the Confederates from basically gaining a foothold on Union soil. The problem is... Abraham Lincoln is so upset. I mean, he is furious. Lincoln is one of those people who's very um, uh, calm, cool, collected. Okay? You have to remember, he's very smart. Um, he's very... Um, uh, takes a slap in the face and things like that. You know, he'll take the insults and things like that, but he does not. He does not want this war to continue. And he sees uh, Lee basically retreating without any type of fight, without any type of attempt to capture him as a way that the war is being prolonged. It's being stretched out even further. And that upsets Lincoln because Lincoln wants the war to end already. Now, uh, Lincoln feels, hey, if Lee was to be captured, we could have done some type of negotiations where we could have, in a sense, ended this war. Um, but the thing is, McKellen's like, no. See, my orders were to prevent the Confederates from having a foothold on Union soil. And that's what I did. My orders were not to capture Lee or anything like that. 
And that's what ticks off Lincoln because he sees it as you should took the initiative. You had an opportunity and you didn't take it to help out our country. Well, McGowan basically um, sticks to his gun saying those weren't my orders. So that's why I didn't do it. So on November 5th, 1862, Lincoln removes him from command. Now, in retrospect, historians see this battle as a stalemate, but to the Union at that time, they saw it as a victory. The reason they saw it as a victory is because the Confederates, again, did not win the battle. They did not have um, a foothold um, on Maryland and Union soil. So they saw that as a win. Hey, we pushed them back. They attacked. We pushed them back. Yeah, it cost us a lot of lives. But those deaths did not go in vain. That we stopped them from um, having them accomplish their mission. We did our job. Now, your ending question is this. Do you think McGellan did the right thing by letting Robert E. Lee go? Now, the second part to this question is this. Do you think Lincoln had a legitimate reason for firing him? Again, this is an opinionated piece, so you really cannot be wrong. The only way you can be wrong is if you copy, you don't answer, or if your answers are so so left field they make no sense whatsoever okay um that's the end of these notes now once you're finished um make sure your name's on it first i don't believe i have to tell you but again i'd rather be safe than sorry and say it um then when you come into class turn them in to the black basket next to the door okay um you will still get your credit for it um if you're doing this on a Friday, the makeup day, um, again, same thing. Put your names on it. Turn it in to the basket next to the door. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys learned something today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope to see you in class. So, I'll see you later.